All right, I'm working on a Walker mower. It's a very, very expensive mower. Um, out the door, they run like 18,000 out the door. They're a pure baggy mower. But I'm gonna show you the flaw on this mower. As you can see, I've got this mower completely torn apart. This mower only has 700 hours on it. It's pretty much a brand new mower reason why I had to take the blower housing out is for one simple reason. This piece right here is called the PTO belt drive bracket. Everything could come off of this thing except for one bolt that Walker has put in backwards on this mower. They stuck it in like this where it has to come out through the, where the blower housing is. If they would have turned it around all you would have had to do is take out this nut and it would have came right out. But Walker is so stupid half the time and they only want their dealers and they don't want nobody else to figure out how to work on these things. But then you get people like me that will put this on the internet to show you how to work on them. So basically you have to take the blower housing out. That bolt goes right here. And um, it just irritates me on how expensive these mowers are. And how um, you really can't find anything on the internet about them. Uh, you can't find any parts on the internet about them or for them. And you can't find any videos on, on them. So I will uh, I'll post a video on how to put this thing back together as well. So that way if somebody needs to take out the blower housing on their walkers, because there's a ton of walkers around here and coming. Um, so if you need to take the blower housing out, it's really only one, two, it's really only four bolts that you have to do. You have to take off the back. Uh, the back belt as well, but um, I'll put a video when I put it back together on how to do it.